Hello and welcome to Historical Geology. My name is Robert Lopez and I'm your instructor for this fall of 2019 semester. And here in this introductory video, I want to show you a little bit about how to get to our Canvas page and then go over the syllabus and more importantly, look at some of the modules and some of the assignments that are coming up here in the next week and week or so. Many students get to their Canvas site here just from the West Valley College webpage, homepage here. You can either go through Canvas here which will make you log, in, log into your portal. And usually I, I just start off by going to the West Valley College portal and signing in to my portal up here in the upper right. And with your email, everyone should have their own West Valley College email and password. You can sign into your portal this way. But whether you're going through the, the Canvas link or through the portal, you should be able to get to this uh, portal. Yours would say student portal, but I'm the employee here. You can access email here and more importantly, the Canvas page here. So once you get onto Canvas, I already have the page open here. You'll get to your dashboard and you'll see the different classes that you're taking. In this case, these are the classes that I'm teaching. Uh, you'll see what assignments are coming up for the week here. And more importantly, the best way to communicate with me is through the email on Canvas, this inbox. Uh, I'm always on Canvas grading, checking different assignments. So uh, I, I'll see this numerous times a day. So if you send me a message, the best way to do it is through the, the inbox here in Canvas or the Canvas email. In our course homepage, you'll see I'll have this video up here at the top. So you'll you see the video there. And then I have information about the textbook and the lab kit because this is a lecture lab course and the labs are online. You do them at home. You won't have to come to campus to get the materials. This kit will come with the rocks, the minerals, sand, there's beakers, there's graduated cylinders. It even comes with a little mass balance, maps, and all the equipment you need and supplies that you need for completing this entire course, a 16-week course here. Now, let's look up here at the syllabus. And I will have a syllabus quiz uh, that's due on Sunday, September 1st. Make sure you read the syllabus quiz and uh, some of the details on, on the syllabus. Note that uh, I have some information about kind of a good deal for the textbook here. I also have down here information on to how to order your lab kit. And then it's about $135 from eScience Labs. Uh, again, remember this is a benefit of doing all the work at home, not having to drive to campus. Uh, everything's done at home. And uh, they do have about three, five kits at the bookstore, uh, but they're a little bit more pricey than this, as you can imagine. <laughs> now, uh, here's some details about the, the syllabus here. One thing I do want to cover about the Canvas learning management site here, uh, we'll see that the course will be presented in these modules tab. And the modules tab is up here on the left here. You'll see you'll get to modules. It's right under the syllabus here. And in that modules tab, you'll see all the assignments for the for the for the rest of the semester and you can see that um, we have homework deadlines due dates will be on Sunday nights uh, and you should spend about 10 hours per week on this course yeah. here I mentioned that due dates are final only because the next week there's another module and there, there's a whole set of assignments that are gonna be due that week and if you leave assignments from one week and have them spill over to the next week it's just gonna be um, much harder to complete that week's assignments and then get a good get a good grade on them right so you really want to keep up now for the quizzes i don't time them and i let you take them two times giving you the better score so make sure you start those quizzes get them going if you miss a bunch of problems go back review and then now you know what to look for for the exams the key thing here is there's only one attempt but Again, these are not times. And what you'll find is that the exams are primarily based from my video lectures. You'll be able to answer the, the lecture study questions by taking notes and reviewing those video lectures. Now here I have a tentative points breakdown here, the exam schedule. I have, um, again, uh, some information on how many hours you should spend in this course. Uh, you can go to the West Valley College distance learning page and see their video on what your fellow students are doing to be successful in their online classes. And then in terms of uh, materials needed, uh, make sure you, you go through this. And I do have an open forum um, that I'll talk about in a moment that you can ask students questions and um, kind of discuss some, especially some of those study questions. And then also as we're looking through here, we're seeing 
the the course schedule. So the first assignments for free week one are going to be due on Sunday, September first. And then I'll sh and then as we go along here, one of the important things that you'll find at the bottom of the syllabus is this course summary. You can see I. I pretty much, I think for the first month or so, I have it pretty completed. I need to add some lab quizzes down here. Yeah, I don't have the pre-lab quizzes for uh, modules after uh, September 26th. So once I, I'll probably get those done in the next couple of weeks. But what you'll find is that there's, every module will have a pre-lab and then the lab, right? And so when you look at the module, there's an introduc introduction to the lab that you'll go through a sort of tutorial where you can follow some steps. Then you'll do the pre-lab quiz. Then you'll do the lab assignment and submit those to the Dropbox. Um, so anyway, let's take a look at this. And this should go all the way to December 13th, which will be our, our final. Looking back up here at the modules tab, this is where the course is presented. You'll see at the top that I have the open study form. So again, this one here will be a form where you can post questions to your fellow students, your students can, other students can answer those questions. Kind of, and, and I also participate in this, so if, if your question isn't answered, I'll take a look at it and see if I can guide you uh, to the correct answer. And then here's a syllabus quiz, which is due September 1st, based on the uh, syllabus readings there. And then for week one, one thing about your lab kit, when you order your lab kit, you'll find that it can take up to about a week to arrive. So you want to order your lab kit as soon as possible. You want to order it early in the week, this week, so that you have it by next Monday or Tuesday. Because next week, uh, on September 8th, that's when the first lab out of that kit is required, right? So you'll need the kit by then. But for this first week, I've, I've put a handout up here. I want you to go through the introduction here, then take the pre-lab quiz based on that, and then when you click on the actual lab assignment here, you'll see that I have the the exercises here, right? So you want to download and print these exercises, and then I have some directions on, on to how to do the labs, and even a little YouTube video here on how to use Excel uh, and graph the the assignments for this evolving atmosphere. So again, that's the lab that's going to be due this week on September 1st. So as we look to Chapter 2, we, we'll see that there's, again, there's a learning guide. Here are, your, here are my online lectures. So again, you'll click on this. You'll see my uh, video lectures. And you want to take notes on these video lectures. Each is about maybe 14, 15 minutes or less in duration. So that's you know the time you'll, that you'll be watching these will be equivalent to basically coming to class and taking notes during my lectures. And then each lecture series has a series of study questions. And the study questions I usually put in the learning guide. Yeah, here are the study questions. So for minerals, we'll expand this, you'll see that answers to these questions are in those videos. I talk about these. And then I take individual questions, not all of these obviously, but a subset of these and I, and I put them on the exam. And then also for the minerals, you'll see there's, there's a, a extra credit quiz. So make sure you do that. I usually add that to your exam one score. And then there are these science and society short articles about current events um, in, in the world of geology. And then there's a quiz that follows that. And usually the quiz has a combination of multiple que multiple choice questions and short answer essay questions. And so that's sort of the, the participation uh, writing assignment for, for this week's uh, assignment. And then here is uh, the lab for week two, which is on minerals, right? Minerals and sediment rocks. So your lab kit will come with the minerals, it'll come with the rocks, it'll come with the graduated cylinders because you're going to do some mass balance and some density calculations. You'll take the pre-lab quiz, and then you'll submit the lab to the Dropbox here. So if we look here, I have the data sheets for you here. Uh, your job is to complete the assignments using the materials from your uh, geology lab kit that you order from esciencelabs.com. As we go along here, you can see we have Chapter 3, which is plate tectonics, due on September 15th. And then we look at geologic time. And then Exam 1 is due September 26th. So the first month is all set to go, and I, and I pretty much have the rest of the semester going. Remember, the only thing I have to add for these later chapters, I have to add the, um, the pre-lab quiz that should fit in here. Um, but that's about the only thing I need to complete in this assignment right here. So again, looking back up here at the syllabus, the key thing that you need to get going, because certainly by the second week, we're doing the lab on minerals and sedimentary rocks. And those mineral samples 
the 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 beakers, the, the mass balance that you get in it, the graduated cylinders that you'll need. Uh, in fact, you'll even need some acetic acid solution that they send you. Uh, all that material will be in your lab kit. And then the, the rock samples and mineral samples are labeled. And then the key that I use to grade is based on, on those samples, right? So what I recommend when you get your samples, especially for this first lab, take, a, take pictures of them. Make sure I can see the letters in the picture so I can match them correctly with how, with how you're identifying. Because if those letters are mixed up, then obviously I'll be grading something different, right? So even though you may have gotten the sample correct, on my instructor's key, it says it's a different mineral. So make sure you take a picture of the, of the sample so I can compare them to the actual uh, samples that we have. Now to wrap it up, if you have any questions, email me. I'll probably be contacting you individually uh, later this week to see how, if, how you're doing. I'll send you an email or drop you a note, usually through the Canvas email uh, inbox here. And then as the course goes along, I'll make some announcements and general announcements to see how people are doing, uh, kind of my view of the class in general. And then um, again, if you start falling behind, I'll just uh, give you a reminder. And if you, you know, we can work on, on you, you know, keeping up and, and doing well in this class. But let's stop here for now and I'll see you online.